One application problem that traditionally gives students a lot of trouble is this problem called a mixture problem. Basically what happens in a mixture problem is someone has uh, two solutions with varying percentages of either acid or alcohol or antifreeze or it varies problem to problem what it is but there'll be a certain percentage of something in, in this solution. Usually one will be on the low side, one percentage will be on the high side. And then the, what they'll want to do is mix these two quantities together to get a certain volume of solution with a percentage somewhere in the middle of the low percentage and the high percentage. So let, let's take a look at this example. This is a pretty uh, typical example. And we'll see if we can explain how to work these problems. It says a chemist has one solution that is 5% acid, that's on the low end, and another solution that's 11% acid, and that's on the high end. How much of each solution should be mixed together to get 30 liters of a 7% solution? So you have one on the low end, one, one on the high end. And what we want to do is mix these two guys together to get a total of 30 liters that has a 7% uh, solution or mixture of acid. So one thing that really, really helps when you work these mixture problems uh, is a table. You really need to have a table. These help tremendously to help visualize how much acid is coming from the 11% solution or in the 5% solution or is in the mixture, et cetera, et cetera. So let, let's look at this chart here. Now, what are gonna be in your columns? Well, we'll have just the labels in the first column. In the second column, we will have the amount of solution. It has nothing to do with the amount of acid, that's just the total amount of solution. And then um, in the third column, we'll have the percentage of acid in each of these solutions. And then for the last column, we'll have the uh, total volume of acid or whatever it is that, that we're measuring because we can take a percentage of the total amount of solution to get the volume of just the acid. Okay, so let's see what we can fill in in this chart here. Um, the percent solution is easy. That, that's a gimme because the 11% solution, uh, when they say 11%, they mean 11% of that solution is acid. So we'll have 0 0.11 and 0 0.05. And in the final mixture, I think the word problem said we wanted a 7% acidic solution. So we'll have 0 0.05. 07 for the mixture. All right, now how much of this mixture is 11% solution or 5% solution? Well, if you read through the problem, I didn't see that. I didn't see anything that referenced how much other than the 30 liters, but the 30 liters was the total. And so I can fill in the mixture would be a total of 30 liters, but I don't know if that's 15 and 15 or 20 and 10 or 25 and five or five and 25. I don't know what that balance is that adds up to 30. So what we can do though, is if you do not know how much is part of the 11% solution, we'll just call it X, we'll call it a variable. And then th think about this intuitively here. I don't know how much is the 5% solution. I don't know the total volume there, but what I do know is that it's whatever is 30 liters minus whatever X is. So part of this is spent on the 11% solution. So if you take that away from 30, whatever is remaining is the amount or the volume of the 5% solution. So wouldn't it be fair to say 30 minus X? Okay, and so that would automatically take care of that balance. If X was 10, automatically the 5% would be 20, 30 minus 10. And so they would add up to, to 30. Um, so anyway, this is how we handle the differing amounts of volume that we don't know. Now, how much total volume of, of acid is there? If these are 11% acid and 5% acid, well then we'll take that percentage of the total volume. This is a volume in the first column here. 
So we'll take 0.11x. So that's how much acid is in the 11% solution. Then we'll have 0.05 times 30 minus x. That's the acid from the 5% solution. And then don't forget, we also need to take 0.07, that's 7% of the 30 liter solution. Okay, so I think, uh, so first of all, let me back up. Our table is finished, our table is done. So now what we have to do is translate uh, all of this stuff into some sort of math equation that we can solve. So the observation that I make is that the acid from these two solutions individually would match the total amount of acid in your mixture. I think that should be clear. That's pretty intuitive. The acid from the 11% solution plus the acid from the 5% solution as they're being mixed would be the total or the same as the acid coming from the 30 liter mixture. So let's set that up as an equation. We'll have uh, 0.11x plus 0.05 times 30 minus x equal to 0.07 times 30. Now this is not a pretty linear equation, but it is a linear equation with one variable, and we're really good at solving these. We know exactly what to do. We'll simplify both sides, we'll combine any like terms, we'll do all those good things, and that'll help us solve for x. All right, so we are on the downhill slope, so let's do it. We've got 0.11x plus, we'll need to take 0.05 times 30 if we distribute. So let me get my calculator over here. We'll take 0 0.05 times 30. That'll give us 1.5 minus 0.05x equals, and then we'll have 7% of 30. So 0 0.07 times 30. That'll give us 2.1. Okay, the distribution's done and the multiplication's done. Let's move the variables to one side of the equation and the constants to the other. If we have 0 0.11 minus 0 0.5x for both of those, we would get 0.06x, combined like terms, equals, and then we'll take 2.1 minus 1.5, that'll leave us with 0. 6. Divide both sides by the variable's coefficient, 0 0.06, 0 0.06, like so, and divide, and we would get x equal to 10, and that's in liters. x is 10 liters. Now, let's think, what, what is x representing here? Well, if you notice, X is representing the volume of the 11% solution, the total volume. So we'll have X right here. That's our 10 liters. And that also tells us how much of the 5% solution we had, 30 minus 10. So this would be a total of 20 liters. So when we go back, let's just double check and make sure we're answering the question that's being asked here. Uh, let's see, it says, um, how much of each solution should be mixed to obtain 30 liters, 10 and 20 makes 30, 30 liters that would make a 7% solution. And we've got it, we're done. We have um, 10 liters of the 11% solution, 20 liters of the 5% solution. If you have a, a couple of extra, uh, extra minutes, what you could do is go ahead and also verify in addition to adding to 30, that it really does give you 7% acid, meaning if you took 30 liters, the 10 and 20 together, the total 30 liters, times the 7%, um, that's the percent acid, you'll get the total amount of acid you would expect in the total final solution.